Hello and welcome to another episode of Man Cave. Um, today we have uh, a little box here with, with two little stones in. Lots of people ask me, um, do, I, do I have any rocks or minerals in my man cave? Um, these are the only things I actually have that are like that. If I just roll them out because the box isn't special at all, it's just somewhere to store them. Um, two little stones. These are actually what's called uh, bogey stones. They come from an area in Kansas. One is uh, exceptionally smooth, completely smooth in fact. Um, a little bit heavy and has a slightly... Uh, I don't know, almost like a flinty smell to it. This one actually is really bobbly. Um, lots of little kind of almost like squares kind of stuck in it, little crystals and things. Um, again, slightly uh, slightly almost UFO shaped. Um, and they are bogey stones from Kansas. The, the story goes that if you hold them in your hands, then they're a great grounding stone. You can feel energy. Um, in some of the stones that I've seen, um, people have that they're, they're they're almost slightly magnetic, so you can almost feel a slight energy if you put them together. Apparently, if you throw them into a fire, they're actually uh, because they're hollow inside, they're actually um, explosive and will explode, uh, and quite a quite a big explosion apparently. Um, but to me, I I sort of like the story behind them. And the story is is that they're um, only found in one area um, in Kansas by these these two old ladies. Um, they grow on little spouts apparently and this one is a male one it's all bobbly and this one is a female one apparently there's one male to six females so these six females grow on little like spouts around a male and these two ladies go around and they find them um, and then they, they actually pick them apparently and they take uh, thousands of years to come out of this this area this this the, the, where they are I, I, can't, I don't think the area is called Boji um, but the area that they are in Kansas um, they then purify them doing their kind of mystical magic or whatever it is, voodoo um, and then they sell them online um, or in fact they, they didn't used to sell them online, they used to sell them in sort of private collections and things and they'd vary these ones are, are worth about £50 pounds, um, but they vary all the way up to kind of this sort of size and they're worth um, you know, £10,000 plus and then you get multicoloured ones but they're the same kind of type of consistency of stone um, and they go up and up and up and they're called rainbow, uh, rainbow pogies um, I like them, yeah, just, just they're like interesting to hold, um, feel quite nice to have in your hands. If you whack them together, then I won't do it because I don't want to damage them, but if you whack them together, they're meant to be a little bit like flint, so they'll give off kind of a big spark. Um, yeah, nice, nice, just nice, interesting talking piece that people ask me about. Um, lots of people have them as kind of good luck stones too. Um, and there is other areas that similar stones come up now technically they're not bogey stones um, if they don't come from from this these two ladies in Kansas um, but there's similar type of stones called uh, mocky balls I believe um, that you can find all kinds of uh, that you can find all cut around uh, volcanic areas um, and often on eBay, people sell mocky balls, and and they go for you know half the price for bogey stones. But the important thing about bogey stones, they actually come with a yellow certificate, which I don't actually have on me right now. Um, but the certificate itself is actually got a stamp, um, it kind of impressed into it, and it explains the whole story of bogey and the two ladies, and you know where they're from, and who they are, and how they discovered them, um, and the magical uh, properties that they give them. Um, so yeah, there are my kind of two, I guess, rocks or minerals that I have in my in my kind of man cave collection, um, and they're nice because they're dark, and they they work well, and they look nice. Uh, thank you for watching, and and wait, stay tuned for another episode of Man Cave.